Hello, welcome back to the casting tutorial. This time we're going to take a look at how to install it and how to keep it up to date. So first of all, you're going to want to go to the website on castingengine.com slash downloads and download the latest zip for your operating system. I use Linux, uh, you can use Windows and uh, Macintosh is somewhat supported, but I can not test it myself. Then you download and unzip it and execute this Godot executable inside of it. This will open the Castagne editor, which will look like this. No, this is enough to get started, but let's see the next step of the setup, which is to set up Godot in order to be able to import your own models and uh, sprites. So that what you're gonna do is take the Godot executable and take it one level higher. Then you open it, and then you click the import button and select your project.godot file from the uh, folder itself. And this will open up the Godot editor with the project open, which is exactly what you want. Then let's go take a look at updates. So this is the update button, which will tell you when there is an update available. And when you click on it, it will also show you where that kind of updates are available. There are three branches you can choose from. The first is the main one, which is the most stable one. It is less often, but it's, uh, it has been more tested. Uh, then there's the dev branch, which is for periodic updates with some unstable features that are going uh, to be added to the next main version. However, it's still in development, so but it should be stable enough. And finally, there's a source branch, which is basically the unstable one, the nightly builds, which are kept up to date with the current casting source and as such can be pretty buggy. But you have this option if you want to. Now for the update procedure, you go to the casting website once again, and this time you download the casting only build, either the main one or the dev one, and then you'll simply open it up, unzip it, and copy the casting folder from there into your own project. And that should be enough. Please don't forget to make backups of your game when you do that, because there can be some unforeseen consequences. So that's the whole procedure for installation and update. See you next time.